Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Pulse on Power Show. I'm Ed Merkel, and we are pleased to present to you this series of videos aimed at demonstrating the key features that you should consider when selecting a power supply. Today's video will focus on bonus power, a key feature in the Pulse power supply that can prevent you from the need of oversizing during peak loads. Oversizing of power supplies is common because some designs just can't handle the large inrush of current and either shut down or can't supply enough output voltage to start the load. The Poles Q Series Dimension Products has a smart firmware controlled overload design called Bonus Power, which manages the output current. Bonus Power can deliver up to 50% extra current with no change in the output voltage, which provides more than enough power to start those heavy loads with no problems. Let's take a look at the output curve for the Poles 5 Amp Dimension product. On the startup of a heavy load, such as a motor, or any other inductive or capacitive load, the power supply can deliver an additional 50% current while still providing 24 volts DC. Typically, the inrush current only lasts for a brief period of time, but the poles unit will provide 50% bonus power for up to 4 seconds, giving you enough time to start those stubborn loads. If the overload condition continues past the 4 seconds, the output power manager tapers back the output to the rated current of the device. Here's our dimension 5 amp unit connected to a 10 amp variable load. Each one of these switches represents 1 amp, so with the switches in the down position, our power supply is operating at 24 volts DC and no current. As I flip the switches one at a time, you see that I am adding current up to the 5 amps. If I was to simulate the startup of a heavily loaded motor by adding 3 amps, the power supply will allow this with no change in the output voltage. You can see that I allowed the extra 3 amps to run for about a second and then I turned them off and the output voltage did not change during that time period. However, if a locked rotor condition occurs where the inrush current does not return to normal, we can watch what happens to the output voltage and current. After 4 seconds, the power manager tapered back the output voltage and current and the overload light turned on, but once the overload condition is eliminated, the power supply returns to normal operating conditions. The power supply also responds well to a pulsed load where the unit has to deliver extra current based on a specific duty cycle such as a solenoid valve turning on and off during a manufacturing process. If we set the power supply to 4 amps and introduce an extra 2 amps for approximately 1 second on and then off for 2 seconds and we repeat this process you will see that the power supply handles the situation without going into overload mode. But if the duty cycle is too great, the unit responds with an overload condition. See each specific data sheet for information on calculating the duty cycle for your application. We have seen what happens to the power supply during no load, startup, overload, and pulse loads. But what happens during a short circuit? If during normal operating conditions the system encounters a short circuit, the power supply attempts to deliver a very large current and the output voltage drops to near zero volts. But after four seconds, the current is tapered back to near rated current. Once the fault is cleared, the power supply resumes to normal operating conditions. The advantages of bonus power are that 50% extra current is available for four seconds and is available across the entire temperature range. In certain applications, a smaller power supply can be used because oversizing is not required and with the output power manager, safety is provided for the load and circuit conductors. Thank you for joining us. If you have any additional questions, please call us or refer to our website where we have additional information on our products and applications. All of us at Pulse, thank you for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you on our next edition of Pulse on Power.